Hello and welcome to the program, Sula's Big Adventures with me, Sula. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about Bob's Knobs. Bob's Knobs is a company out of Centerville, Indiana, that makes knobs to replace your collimation screws. Many telescopes require you to have tools in order to make adjustments when you collimate. And this one is a Newtonian reflector, a Dobsonian, and it requires a two millimeter Allen screw and a Phillips head screwdriver in order to adjust the secondary mirror. Bob's knobs can also be used on Newtonian reflectors, Schmidt Newtonians, Max Uthoff Newtonians, and I think also Schmidt Cassegrain telescopes. This is an Orion 10 inch Dobsonian. I got the Bob's knobs that fit this Orion and also the Skywatcher because I think they use the same screws to hold the secondary mirror in place. The primary mirror you can adjust with your hand. The reason you'd want to adjust them is that the knobs can be hand turned. They don't require tools. I bought this Orion 10 inch Dobsonian used and it's a great telescope. I really like it, but I bought it to go camping and every time I take it camping and I put it in the back of my car, I get to the campsite and it's horribly out of collimation. Almost always the secondary mirror has moved. And in fact, I just got back from camping and the secondary mirror is horribly out of collimation. <laughs> so I'm going to replace these hex screws. I only I ordered this from Bob no, Bob's Knobs and it came with the three knobs to replace the hex screws, but it didn't come with one to replace the center one. It takes a Phillips head screwdriver. So the way you do it is don't take all three of them out at once or your secondary mirror is gonna fall because it holds it in place. So you take one out, make sure it fits, and then put the Bob's knob in place of the hex screw, and then one more, and then the last one. So let's take the first screw out and make sure it fits, first of all. The first thing I'm gonna do is put the tube parallel with the ground so that nothing falls down the tube onto my primary mirror. And then I'm gonna start by taking out one screw. Okay, I got the first hex screw out and I'll put a bob knob in that hole and then I can take out the other two the exact same way. Okay I have now put Bob's knobs where all three hex screws were to collimate the secondary mirror. I still need to use the Phillips head screwdriver to loosen whenever I want to collimate but it's a lot easier, but of course now it needs to be collimated. So let's do that. Now that I've replaced my collimation screws with Bob's knobs, I need to collimate the secondary mirror. I needed collimation anyway, because I took it camping and it was bouncing around the car. So now you collimate it the same way. I still have the central screw, which takes a Phillips head screwdriver and you loosen that a little bit and now that I've replaced those screws with Bob's knobs, I see why it kept going out of collimation. The secondary mirror on this telescope anyway is held in place by that central screw and I think it was too loose. So just loosen it a little bit and then you loosen one Bob's knob and then move another one and then loosen one and move another one until you can see all four of the clips that hold the secondary mirror in place and the secondary mirror is centered. So easy to collimate with Bob's knobs. <laughs> now my secondary mirror is all collimated and I think it's gonna stay in place now, but I highly recommend Bob's knobs in place of your hex screws on your Newtonian reflector. Maybe the same way on a Max Uthoff Newtonian and a Schmidt Newtonian, but I've never owned one of those, but that's how you do it on a Newtonian reflector like this 10 inch Dobsonian. I hope you found this useful. I highly recommend Bob Dobbs. I'll see you in the next one. Dark skies forever. Sula signing off.